Rani Kanyetu here today with an exciting episode. So today I would like us to talk budget. Not specifically budget because budget is going to be a subtitle but I would like us to talk about financial freedom. And how do you get this financial freedom? I'm going to try and use the tips I've been using and how I'm able to pay my bills on time, how I'm able not to really strain when it comes to having to looking for money and all that. So on to the first point is have a budget uh, what do i mean by have a budget do not go into a supermarket not knowing exactly how much you want to spend you will end up maybe overdoing maybe getting something that you don't really need so have a budget it's advisable have a budget before your payday any kind of payday just have a budget so that you're able to say maybe groceries will need this much uh my if you have if you're paying for your fee this much and all that point number two get out of debt what do i mean by get out of debt if you owe anyone money kindly pay them back if you can but if you can't look for a way that maybe you'll pay the person using installments at the end of the day you'll have finished the debt because if you owe people money, it, uh, it can be depressing, which is not right for our health, you know. Point number three, get a side hustle. This is for those people maybe who are in between eight to five kind of jobs. Get a side hustle. These jobs ain't assured. Get someone maybe, even though it's an income of 300 shillings being in Kenya per day, it's good money. Just do 300 times uh, seven. That is 2,100 times 3. That's good money. It's a side hustle. Point number 4. Think before you spend. What do I mean by that? Think before you spend. Don't just go spending. Just because you have the money. It's not. Uh, it's your money, yes. But kindly think. Do you really need whatever you're about to buy? If no, don't get it. Uh, sometimes we, we, mostly the ladies, uh, end up getting things that we don't really need. They end up messing us. Maybe you're just walking along the highway and you see a shoe that is worth 4500 That's a lot of money. You don't maybe even need the shoe. It's a stiletto. Maybe you just wear it once in a year when someone volunteers to take you out or even when you want to go out. Or even you wear it just to the studio just to take weeks. Point number five. Change your supermarkets. Supermarkets are quite expensive. So I would advise maybe get a group of your friends, or contribute a certain amount of money, get your shopping from wholesalers where you'll be sold. You, they will think that maybe you have a retail shop. And so maybe you'll get maybe a bill. Divide among yourselves, you'll have saved a lot. I've done it, kindly try it. Create a saving account. A saving account is an account where you can't just get the money. It's not, it's not to your disposal. Yes, it's your money, but it's not to your disposal. Get a saving account. Have that account where you every month there's a certain amount you put into it. It should be intentional. Not uh, you, you. You're not supposed to save in that account just when maybe you have an excess of money. No, it should be intentional. Every month there's a certain amount you're supposed to save. And this will really help on the bad days. My final, final point. Do it yourself. Do it yourself. Most of these things, we don't need someone to do them for us. E.g., if you're really spending a lot of money on maybe your nails, you can do them in the house. Hmm? Oh, uh, what else? You don't need to get someone to shop for you. Just do it yourself. Create time and do it yourself. You'll end up saving a lot. A lot, a lot, a lot. So, if you like this video, kindly share, subscribe, and uh, we'll meet on the next one. Bye bye.